Today we'll be learning about the artist Piet Mondrian. Pieter Cornelius Mondrian was born on March 7, 1872 in Central Holland. Early on, Piet proved to have a talent for drawing. His father gave him drawing lessons and took him into the countryside to sketch. In 1892, when Piet was 20, he moved to Amsterdam to attend the National Academy of Art. Traveling back and forth between Amsterdam and parts of rural Holland, he devoted all of his time to painting landscapes first in the style of the Hague School, then gradually more and more abstract. The more abstract his work became, the more praise it received from fellow artists. At the same time, the more criticism he met from Dutch art critics. This man is totally confused. In 1909, Piet Mondrian joined a philosophical society. In his work, this translates into his well-known paintings that consist of horizontal and vertical lines, the horizontal representing the femininity and the worldly the vertical, masculinity, and the spiritual. In 1919, Mondrian publishes a book called Les Neoplastissime. During his years in Paris, Mondrian's reputation as an international representative of the artistic arts grew, but with art insiders in particular. His paintings still didn't fetch high prices, as they never would during his lifetime. Mondrian didn't really seem to mind. He had fulfilled his artistic dreams. In 1914, fleeing Hitler and World War II, Mondrian moved to New York City where he concluded his career with monumental works like Broadway Boogie Woogie and Victory Boogie Woogie. In 1944, he was almost 72, Piet Mondrian died of pneumonia in a New York hospital. Today we will be creating our own Piet Mondrian inspired artwork. Step 1. Place two to three vertical black stripes on your paper. Use the glue stick to glue the stripes down. Step 2. Plan your horizontal stripes. You will want to use two to three horizontal stripes as well. Plan where you want to place them on your paper without gluing them down. Step three. Plan your colored squares or rectangles. You'll want to use three to seven and remember that white space is part of the art as well. You may need to cut some of your colored squares or rectangles to fit. At this time you can also slide your horizontal stripes to cover the edges. Step four. Glue down your color squares or rectangles. Step five. Glue down your horizontal stripes. Be sure to cover the edges of your colored squares or rectangles. Step 6. Cut any excess paper off of the edges. You can do this by flipping over your paper and running your scissors along the edge.
step 7. Glue your masterpiece onto the black paper and sign your name with the white crown.